Hello and welcome to a wonderful sunny day here in Germany, 21st of September and it is 27 degrees. Isn't that good? And uh, as you can see, I'm at this company here, Hartmann, and they uh, are motorhome dealers for uh, Fleurette Florian, which we're going to see today, and also various other brands as well. And as well as that, uh, they offer a number of other uh, services such as uh, rental, such as self-storage, such as an equipment shop and uh, repairs. The garage is behind me. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the Florian 2021 range and the sun's very bright and some of the stuff I film outside mightn't come out too well because it's going to be dark and I'm facing into the sun. But once I get inside, uh, we'll see how well this all comes out. Now, uh, right, Fleurette Migrateur. I did film the previous years, well, this year's sort of 2020, if you like, we're sort of, now we're sort of talking 2021 because it's September, so it's like one year in advance now, if you like. So the, the, the new range has come out sometime, they're announced like in July, shown at Caravan Salon in uh, August. And uh, so what you're going to get here is a quick overview and when you if you see anything you like you've got to put in a request because uh, this will go up on the internet today in fact if you're watching us you will know that it's at least at least the 21st of uh, September 2020 unless of course you happen to have a time machine which will take you back into the past now for a vehicle like this depending on the equipment level and all sorts of other things you're looking at the range of uh, around uh, 80,000 something that's 80,000 euros approximately you know and all of these things I was I, I don't quite know what the equipment level is in this model why is the toilet down there and the shelf up there now you know these videos normally you do you get somebody show you why that happens and what it is. Right, write down the answer below what has happened here, right? And the winner won't be winning one of these motorhomes. So if you don't want to win one of these motorhomes, this is your chance not to win one. So I'm putting your answer down below. Right, good, so you have a quick look around there. So let's see what else we can have a look around. <laughs> Very dark inside. Seems as though it's very dark inside. All right, we'll come down to this one here. Florium Baxter. Uh, Baxter's the smallest one we do, and in this case, we even got the price of it here because this has been. This was at uh, Dusseldorf, so you got sixty-three thousand three hundred twenty. Uh, this is a six-meter van, and it's all. Oh, it's I don't know if it's the right word, but it's two hundred twenty-three centimeters in width. And what this has is a side bed. And it's got a side bed. Where do you think your toilet's gonna be? Right, well you're wrong, because it's here. So what about the current situation with motorhomes as is at present? Well, the news is as follows, as from today, uh, if you want a 2021 uh, model of a Rapido van, which includes Dreamer, then you're gonna have to get it second hand because that's it, they're sold out. They won't be having any more deliveries until February 20. 22 so you're going to have to get a 2022 one i haven't seen what the 2022 one looks like yet i've also got some more news 
on finance situation for vans and I'm gonna have to talk to you though about that in a separate video. So what you think of the uh, the kitchen like this? Now, if, if for, for the UK market, uh, this you can have the option of the standard like three burners if you want with the with the uh, uh, the hood on it. No, it's not a hood or the cover 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 on it. Uh, this is uh, this is what you get in Germany. So this, that's a crystal look. This is also a crystal look. This is the Maggie Stair 74LMF. And for this, ooh, 80, 85, something like that. You've got the overhead bed up there, which uh, I'll show you how it comes down in a different video. Queen bed at the back. See, the mattress is made in France. I know that because it says Fabrication Francaise written on it. Oh, that's dark, isn't it? It's not dark in the van, it's outside. Yeah, I'll tell you what I should do. I should have just closed all the blinds, shouldn't I? Right, well, I just thought of that one now. I'll do that next time. I think so you can make a really big table here as well. So, and uh, I've got some used vans here as well. Florium Winchester or Winchester. Oh, sorry, I'll show you another Maggie step first because that would that, be more logical than that to have two that look the same being together, one in slightly different styles. And at the back, totally different. In France, the most popular layout is the, uh, is the, the queen bed. And in Germany, it's this one here. You can write down which one you like the best, but I'll be doing them all individually anyway. So, and my time I'm gonna spend here. All right, so we got here, Winchester 74 LJG, 82,760. Uh, it's a special price now, okay, 90,000. I think we should really include that, that one. Uh, 74, sorry, 746 centimeters long. That's got a height of 285 and width of 230. Uh, this one here, uh, it's got this very elegant kitchen, which you also see incidentally in new automobile models, uh, which I've, I've actually really highlighted at uh, Dusseldorf this year. Not, but you haven't seen those videos yet <laughs> because I haven't even posted them. So uh, I'm coming down here into the back. I've got some drawers under the bed.
So that is your initial walkthrough through um, these vans. But I'm also going to be showing you some used vehicles as well whilst I'm here. One of them's on my left, and this is the last one I'm going to take you on a tour of in this uh, particular visit. Discover 74 LJT, 102,000 euros. Integrated van. And this is the first time I've seen this particular model, although not the, the style, because the style is not unusual. That, but that heating system is. And that, as you can see, is from Alde. Great. So thanks very much for watching this. I hope you found that of interest. And uh, sorry if it's sometimes overexposed or too underexposed, but unfortunately, uh, that's the camera I'm using. And uh, once I get to be a better camera person, uh, the situation may actually improve, but that's the way it is at the moment. And so all the best here from Lunen in near Dortmund in Germany. And there'll be more coming from this dealership in subsequent films. Thanks for being here and watching.